Hey, Bill Young here again. Um, so for the last couple days, I've been working on a new entry sign for this little town I live in, Willis Wharf. About 20 years ago at least, um, some nice folks made a sign to coming into town. We only got 200 people live in town. And some, some artistic folks made a nice sound, a sign four foot tall, five feet wide, and it's hand painted. And it's real artistic, really nice, but after a couple years it started to look kind of shabby and nobody could could paint it. You know, it's, it's, it was just kind of a all hand done and it ended up just getting neglected. It looked worse and worse over the years. It's made out of plywood, rotted, never touched up. So my wife and a, and a friend of hers said, this is pretty, pretty bad looking. So they decided they wanted to at least paint the posts and see if they could touch the sign up. And it really wasn't worth putting the effort in. And they didn't really have the skill set to, um, to repaint this sign. So they asked me if I could come up with something. So I said, sure. And, you know, I'm not a sign maker. I'm not very artistic. But I knew kind of what it wanted to say. We wanted to be sort of a welcoming thing. So I want to say welcome to. It needed to have the name of the town. Um, the date it was established, the year it was established, which was 1738, I think, and something graphical. Um, the original had all kinds of like a seaside scene and all that, but I wanted to do something simple, um, and I wanted something to be easy to maintain, so I didn't want to have a lot of intricate cutting. So what I came up with was I, I got a piece of half-inch cell tech, which is just PVC, and um, I couldn't find the color. They wanted a nice navy, dark navy color. So I got a couple of rattle cans of um, Rust-Oleum, their plastic paint, the fusion paint, found a nice dark navy color. Shot a couple coats on it over a couple days. And then um, created a file in V-Carve and I just cut everything out as a shallow pocket. And the idea was, so the white would show through. No, no painting to be done there. It was sort of like homemade color core. So the blue is the, is the sign and the white is pocketed out. And not only is it easy to cut and you don't have to do any kind of intricate fiddly painting in, inside the details and the lettering and all, but if you need to touch it up at some point, you can take a foam brush with that same paint and brush to the edge and it cleans up really nicely. You get a nice sharp edge because you don't have, it's a really sharp shoulder between where the pocket cuts and um, where, the, where the main field is, the blue field. So it's been kind of dreary, so I haven't had a chance to put it in. I'll put it up maybe later today, probably tomorrow. The sun's going to come out. It won't be quite so drizzly. But um, it's been an easy one to do, a fun one to do. I, I use V-Carve Pocket Command. I use the eighth inch with a quarter inch clearance tool. So the eighth inch cuts the details. There's a heron in the middle, and it cuts those legs and all the little all the little parts that a quarter inch bit wouldn't fit into. And then again, I change to a quarter inch bit and clean out the main bulk of it. And it's a little it cuts a little funny because there's some I'm not clear I understand the logic behind how things are cut in V carve the order. And I didn't really spend the time to select things in order I wanted to cut and cut them and paste them back in to get them all to get the right um, cutting order because I was doing one of these. But you end up with a, you know, it cuts a little bit here, goes over there, cuts a little bit. So I got a video of it cutting and it looks, um, it looks a little bit funny just because it kind of jumps around. But it did a nice job. Um, I used the, the Amana um, spectra coated bits. I did use a down spiral eighth inch for the detail and I sort of learned my lesson on that that using the down spiral sort of makes the chips pack and refuse. If I'd had, if I'd known, if I'd thought about it, I would have used a regular straight, the, I used a quarter inch straight spectra coated end mill for the field and it worked great. It cuts beautiful and everything, but along the edge there's some spots I had to kind of pick out that were chips fused back on from the eighth inch cut because there's no clearance on it. It's just cutting the, cutting the pass. So, lessons learned, but it turned out good. Um, it's not as nearly as 
artistic and pretty as the original font sign, but it looks, um, I think it's gonna look great and it's gonna be easy to maintain, which is really sort of what we wanted to make sure would happen. 